is up guys welcome back to I'm so Craigy. today I'm in Hamburg Lot Miss Waterman's joined me Hello. and we are on the world's first curved escalator arched escalator arched escalator more about that later in the video guys I'm here to get a hamburger from the world's most unique McDonald's you're gonna love this one guys stay tuned <laughs> Quarter to four in the morning. I'm in London, in Stratford, and I'm just waiting to get my coach to the airport, Stansted Airport. Sally Waterman's coming along for the trip again. It's not a collaboration this time, guys, but she is tagging along. Like a little tag along just behind me. Not too close. I don't want people to know we're actually together. It's just, no. <laughs> Ew. And I was thinking, right, if you're from London, then that would make you a Londoner, right? So if you're from Hamburg, then you're a hamburger. <laughs> so true, isn't it? That's wicked. This is what we come to Hamburg for. Boobies! Woo! We made it to Hamburg! Yeah! You probably ask yourself why are we going to Hamburg for the hamburger? You know the obvious answer is it's called Hamburg. Actually, you're wrong. That's not the reason why we're coming here. That is just a coincidence. But this entire trip, guys, actually was meant to be something completely different. So my plan was actually to fly into Munich, just north of Munich, in a town called Wemding. There's this thing called the Time Pyramid, which basically, in a nutshell, is a pyramid that's being built one block a decade, and it's not going to be finished to the year like 3,000 or something, 3,183, I think. Uh, a long time, no one alive today is ever going to see it finished but they lay one block every decade and they were laying a block this Saturday just gone and I really wanted to go and see it it wouldn't have been very exciting footage I don't think but I just love the concept of it I love the idea that I would have been there to witness one of the blocks be laid but I just couldn't get there like the journey from Munich to Wending on public transport was just crazy guys and I don't have a smartphone, I have one of these this is my phone the journey would have, would have been about three buses and three trains if I remember right which would have been okay if I had a smartphone but had I just missed one of the buses or one of the trains in sequence it would have just messed the whole thing up and I would have been in the middle of nowhere because Wemding is not like a city it's a tiny little German town in the middle of nowhere so I would have been screwed I would have just been stuck in Germany uh, I figured that the risk wasn't worth the reward not just the risk but just the effort of getting there how much it would cost me and all that so I completely cancelled that missed my flight on purpose the second part of that trip was meant to be getting a train from Nuremberg or something like that to Hamburg. I decided to just do this instead, so that brings me to Hamburg. So as a result of that guys, I did have my return flight coming back from Hamburg, already paid for, already booked, and I thought instead of putting it to waste, let's go to Hamburg and get a hamburger. But we're only here for one day guys, we literally fly out this evening. We're on a one day trip in Hamburg. That is how you do day trips guys abroad. Hamburg guys is home to a very unique McDonald's. Arguably the most unique McDonald's in the entire world. We are in Hamburg. Let's do some exploring. Let's have a little look at the city.
This place even has a bar with an incredible view. the uh, subway, the underground here, towards the McDonald's, and it appears that in Hamburg, do you mind? Did you ever see that Family Guy joke where they like, the sirens in Europe saying like three gay men having a, having a threesome? It's true. <laughs> it's so true. And your, your sirens, sirens sound like, like gay, gay guys, guys having, having a threesome. A threesome. It appears they work on the honesty system here. There's no ticket barriers. So you have to buy a ticket, but there's no ticket barriers. So whether you do buy a ticket is up to you. But well, we bought a ticket though, right, Ellie? Yes. Because we actually did buy a ticket. Did we? One. Yeah, no. to get from the airport, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we're not we're not thieves, guys. We're not complete thieves. We're we're part-time thieves. <laughs> See, the problem is, guys, with walking around the city is that you, you're surrounded by these big, giant corporations constantly trying to ram their shit down your throat. Which is why I've opted to take a leisurely swim around Hamburg. Hiya, uh, yeah, can I get a uh, hamburger meal, please? With fries and uh, no gherkins as well, please. Thank you. Lancashire. So this is called the McBoat guys, this is the only one in the world. So you're not meant to swim up like I did, in fact you're not allowed to swim in the water, there is no swimming signs. You're meant to come up with your boat and just pull up along here, boat, kayak, canoe, whatever you're in, pull up along here, scan the QR code here and order your food and they bring it right down the stairs to your boat. You don't have to leave. It's brilliant guys it's such an amazing concept the only reason I went swimming is because I just don't have a boat and I couldn't find anywhere to rent one that's the problem but really it's the muck boat not the muck swim it's the only one in the world and by pure coincidence it's in Hamburg how cool is that Yeah. Thank you, man. <laughs> this is awesome. 
Guys, if you want to check out my the video, right? My YouTube channel is I'm So Crazy. Yeah. Can you write down?